Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about evaluating limits. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, the limit as x approaches negative 3 of an x plus 3 over an x squared plus 2x minus 3, and we have to evaluate this limit. Now, we can graph this limit, we can see the graph right here, but that's just... Um, we're going to use that and then use trying to solve it algebraically. So if we look at the graph here, what happens at negative 3? Well, we have an open circle there at negative 3, meaning that at some value for x, when we plug in the denominator, it will cause the denominator to equal 0, and we can't have that limit there. The value exists there. So what I'm going to do is see if we can simplify this function that we're taking the limit of and see if we can cancel something out there. So, let's read this limit as x approaches a negative 3, and we're going to factor the denominator. Makes it easy. Well, two numbers multiply to be negative 3, but add to be a positive 2, and that's a positive 3 and a negative 1. That helps us here because we can see the x plus 3 is going to cancel. So what happens now, we have the limit as x approaches a negative 3, of 1 over an x minus 1. Now, we can now plug negative 3 in for x to find this limit, all right, because it will exist there. So to do that, we have 1 over a negative 3 in for x minus 1. Let me keep on going. 1 over, well, negative 3 minus 1 is a negative 4. Put a 4 here, put the negative out front. And so this kind of matches up with our graph, but our final answer for this limit is a negative one-fourth. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.